Hey everybody, it is I, Gary Schumacher, and welcome to another exciting edition of Heretic Hump Day. Today we have a wild one for you. We have another one on Chris McDonald. And uh, the shenanigans that this man has been up to is beyond measure. Um, so we're going to be bringing you some people who have worked uh, behind the scenes on the Mac files and dishing some tea on Mr. McDonald today. So get ready, strap yourself in, or jump on Mike Camel. her name is Dixie, and get ready to take another ride on Heretic Hump Day here with me. doing everybody welcome to the heretic hump day and man i got a juicy one for you today okay so uh i got a clip here from our friend jamie price willis and she had uh a gentleman that was uh was brought me into the fold here with this whole uh chris mcdonald uh debacle that's been going on um his name is on uh, i'm like i can use his name now um and i'm probably gonna massacre his last name uh Chad Zidio, <laughs> okay, and uh, Z S I D O, and he is uh, going to be read a statement here on her show uh, about some of the goings on uh, at the Mac Files and what Chris McDonald has been up to. Now, <clears throat> like I said, I put a disclaimer at the front of this video, and um, but. Uh, <clears throat> These people have no reason to make this up. These are good Christian people, and they don't have any ill will towards Mr. Uh, McDonald. They just want to see him come back into God's fold uh, because he is, from what they're saying, has drifted far, far off the off the path of righteousness, and uh, he needs to get back on it. So that, and that's what we all want, Chris. We want you to get back on that, uh, on that. Uh, path and uh start preaching the gospel and stop all this nonsense what you're doing here um this i don't know if he's in some kind of midlife crisis or what's going on with him but uh he really needs to knock this stuff off and uh and you know get some help because he's really in in dire need of it so yeah i'm gonna uh i'm gonna switch over here to the uh to the uh clips i'm gonna play here and uh yeah Get ready. This is uh, this is something else. So it says, um, Mac file supporters, this statement is written with a heavy heart and a sense of urgency. I come from a military family, myself included. We served our terms of service honorably, honorably for generations. I have always respected high-ranked positions but have always held the officer who held those positions accountable for their actions, just as they would expect the same from me. Honor, duty, respect, integrity, selfless service, and accountability are just a few ingredients that make a good soldier. Soldiers are only as strong as their high command. They were time, there were times in my life where I have failed God, family, and friends. I have strived to become a better man by apologizing and remembering the ingredients that make a good soldier. As a Christian man, it is my duty and obligation to point out and share the truth in any situation. It is in my beliefs that if a man witnesses an act of, an act of crime or sin and does nothing, they are just as guilty as the person who carries out said act. Therefore, it is my duty and obligation to inform you of the following, to give you the opportunity to make decisions in, re in regard to protecting your interests and integrity. I have been asked by several moderators, listeners, and supporters to speak on their behalf for their concerns in regards to one Christopher Wayne McDonald and the Mac Files ministry. Mr. McDonald's actions have not only affected some moderators and listeners, 
by all, including men and women. Mr. McDonald has been abusive by immorality and narcissistic tendencies. He has been verbally, emotionally, and spiritually abusive, using financial offerings by his supporters. He has relentlessly pursued multiple women on some occasions at the same time for romantic tendencies. He has continued to pursue women even knowing they are already in a faithful marriage. His actions have caused separation and divorce in some situations. Multiple people have approached Mr. McDonald about his behavior and he has denied these accusations and has called these individuals liars. Over the last several years, Mr. Mr. McDonald has shown aggressive controlling behavior towards his moderators, audience, and guests. The financial offerings Mr. McDonald received from his supporters were given with the understanding it would be used not only to support his ministry, but to support other ministries and organizations as well. When mentioning offerings in his service, he always said, we are putting our offerings in safe pasture. Unfortunately, that has not entirely been the case, as he has used his financial support to aggressively love bomb the women that he was in a romantic relationship with. I cannot help but think my financial support has helped Mr. McDonald pursue his abusive, narcissistic ways, what has caused destruction, that has caused destruction in many lives. Considering the situation due to his portrayal towards his audience and failure to uphold his position as a leader of a ministry in accordance with standards, I, along with many others, have withdrawn our support from Mr. McDonald and the Mac Files ministry as a listener and financial supporter. I have written testimonies and video interviews at my exposure if you wish to see them. I will be willing to share them with you without hesitation. We hold no ill intent, unforgiveness, or bitterness towards Mr. McDonald and pursue no further action except to pray for his repentance and an apology in this matter. So, yeah, that is, uh, that's a whole lot going on over there. This man, uh, according to uh, Chad, has been very abusive to his staff over there and uh there's some immoralities going on as well narcissistic you can you can tell just by watching his show um because he can be very uh you know abusive but as far as the womanizing is concerned um you know who knows he you're he's a man of god he shouldn't be doing that uh type of thing uh no man should no man should be out there especially a man of his age playing the field like that and um you know, and and the sad part it was is in one instance there's that he said that it caused a divorce because he doesn't even seem to care that the people that he's um the women that he's going after are married or not. That doesn't seem to bother him. That should bother any Christian man. All right. These are these are horrific sins that there he's being accused of here. And uh yeah, he needs to really, you know, check himself, uh, so to speak, as this new generation says. And uh, you know, and, and also he says how uh controlling he is. That's another thing you could probably notice um when he's doing his show. He's very controlling of his guests and and that type of thing. Uh another thing that they say he's in trouble is is uh he's he's been uh misappropriating church funds <clears throat> to uh love bomb i've never heard that i've never heard the expression love bomb until uh i started uh talking with jamie price willis and the the, la the ladies that she's had uh on her program but yeah if uh if a guy is infatuated with you he's gonna love bomb you. he's gonna go after you but he doesn't go after you and your girlfriend and your girlfriend's girlfriend <laughs> And so I, and where is he getting all this money from? He's supposed to be a, a simple Southern preacher, and uh, he has um, money for all these expensive gifts that they talk about. Um, so um, you have to give him. Uh, you give if you've given him money. Um, do you feel foolish now if you've supported his channel for all the many years? Uh, do you feel foolish now? Um, if you are a Mac file supporter, 
please go over to his channel and unsubscribe. I mean, most people have by now. I mean, his uh, his political channel is still going strong it's because politics is their dirty business, and they're they're no different than you than a sleazy rock star. You know, um, uh, Washington D.C. is as sleazy as Hollywood these days. Um, but uh, yes, yeah, so he's just booming in the politics uh, uh, channel that he has, but that uh, um, religious channel that he has is, you know, he, it dropped way, way off. Nobody's really uh, watching that show anymore. It's, it's, it's down. Uh, I think he's got about 1400 subscribers and he had thousands, thousands on that channel. So <clears throat> including me at one time, so yes, I've stepped away from him, but I stepped away from him long before any of this. And, um, you know, until he gets his act together and repents for these sins, he needs to, uh, I would, if I was you, I would shut down that ministry because you're, you're embarrassing yourself at this point. You're embarrassing, uh, Christianity. Please repent, Chris, and, uh, and knock this nonsense off. Um, and what you need to do is, Instead of preaching the gospel, maybe for a little while, you need to sit in a pew and listen to some a preacher with sound doctrine that knows what he's talking about. Okay, because you've led enough Christians down a very dark path, and I'm glad to see that a lot of them, by your subscriber count, are starting to walk away from you because you're you're just not a man of God. You're a, a philanderer, and you need to stop and repent. Repent, Chris, please. We have that voice. We God do. God has given us that voice. We have the responsibility to call out false doctrine, to call out false ministries. The Bible warns us all over the Old and New Testament. It warns us about false doctrine. It warns us about false prophets. But at the same time, he has given us the right to call it out because yeah. he is going to hold us responsible. He's going to hold us responsible. If we sit there and continue to support that, we're going to be judged on that by the word of God. He yes, is going we are. to hold us responsible for supporting demonic ministries. And that's exactly what these are. They're yeah. demonic ministries. And they are being revealed every single day. And yeah, they're absolutely right about that. There are a lot of demonic ministries out there and they're being pointed out every single day. And that's why I'm out here. Um, that's why Alabama's out here. That's why Drew's out here. Laura and the rest of us out here trying to point out these demonic ministries because uh, the evil one has infiltrated the church. He is not going to take over the world by infiltrating government he's going to start out by infiltrating the church and i don't even recognize church anymore i honestly don't um that's why i fellowship with you people on here because you are my you are my christian brothers and sisters um unfortunately chad and jamie here they put all their eggs in one basket and decided <clears throat> excuse me decided to uh to kind of worship a man, and that was in Chris McDonald. They didn't realize, I don't think, when they were doing it, but they did. A lot of people do that. A lot of people are guilty of that. They worship the pastor, uh, the prophet, whatever, and that is their idol, and that is what the Bible talks about, worshiping false idols. And uh, we, you don't even realize you're doing it until God opens your eyes. And then you realize, what have I been doing? What have I been listening to? What have I been giving my money to? And these two here have got their eyes and nose wide open. And sometimes, you know, we as Christians have to learn that the hard way. Yeah. Every single more day, more. somebody new yes. comes up. Yes. And it's like, and it's not just pastors it's worship leaders it's songwriters it's singers mm -hmm. they are being exposed every single day and i want you to explain you know because they are being exposed and then people use the excuse well the the enemy's trying to destroy them <laughs> in my encounters 
with talking to people, like having a gentleman conversation. That's what I'm looking to have about situations like this. I just want a gentleman conversation. And what happens is, is you're either going to have that conversation, that man-to-man talk with these people, or if they're under that demonic influence themselves, they're going to come back at you. They're mm-hmm. going to be offensive. They're going to call you any name in the book. They're going to reject everything. And they're going to think they have that person's back by doing that. Yeah. Yeah, and that's exactly what I encounter all the time with, on this YouTube channel. Um, they will defend these false prophets, these false teachers, with their last breath because they have put these people up on a pedestal. These people are their idol. And even these two fine people right here, they say it themselves that there were red flags going off for years about Chris McDonald. And um, he tried to, uh, Chad tried to warn his mother about a church. And she, she goes, yeah, I know, but I love the people at my church. Well, you know what? You don't love the people at your church. You love God. You're not there to love the people at the church. You're there to worship God, not the minister, not the Sunday school teacher, not the people in their church. You're not there for them. You're there for God. Now, the Bible says, love thy neighbor. Yes, love thy neighbor. Don't worship thy neighbor. Okay, I don't see the Bible ever saying, worship thy neighbor. That's the problem that I'm running into. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you something. If somebody came up to me and said they saw you doing something, and I'd be like, Jamie, this person came up to me and said you were robbing a bank or you're you're a bank robber. What, what are you doing? You're going to end up in jail or dead. What are you doing? Cut it out. You yeah. know, that's having somebody's back. That's yeah. having love for somebody is getting them out of their demonic activity. Yeah. It's not, oh, I got this guy's back. He's not doing anything wrong. Uh, I mean, you're getting it all wrong. This is not what he told me. He told me something completely different. Okay, well, are you sure that's exactly what he's doing? Because apparently it's not. I mean, it's not just a handful of people that got together one day having coffee, made something up about this guy. Mm -hmm. Let's Mm -hmm. go on the air about it. No, that's not what happened. No. We're talking about a hundred at least a hundred lives, a hundred families, a hundred people plus are affected by this ministry. Wow. I had no idea that this was so out of control um, that it affected this many people. And, you know, just think of how many people put their stock in Chris McDonald. And now this is coming out and how many people will walk away because of Chris McDonald, because they put all their trust in him. I mean, when he was, you know, bringing on the false prophets uh, all the time and propping them up like Amanda Grace, and then turning right back around and calling, saying what she's doing is witchcraft and uh, and all that, then if you thought that, why did you have her on your show? Um, he's just, you know, that's just the way he is. And I... I'm glad I wised up um, and got away from this evil ministry. Um, and I hope that whoever is in the sound of my voice here that can that is still following him, trust in these two people. These two people here know him personally. They've done interviews with him. They've worked alongside of him. They know him very well, much well, much better than I do. And uh, that's why I wanted to put them on here. And they're, uh, Jamie, you're, you're just a sweetheart. I uh, I had a long phone conversation with Jamie uh, Price Willis, and she is just an outstanding lady. Um, I really enjoyed our conversation. And Chad, I have been back and forth with, <clears throat> excuse me, through emails 
And I'd like to uh, speak with Chad uh, personally. Um, I hope we can make that happen soon. Lives were destroyed. Families were destroyed. Yes, they were. It's not like a handful. And that's what people don't understand. Obviously, there's something going on. Obviously, there's something wrong. The Holy Spirit showed us what was going on yes, in this did. ministry. And you have a choice. There's, there's no more, I'm on the fence anymore. You're either on the side of darkness or on the side of light. You have your choice. And when you continue to put your tithings into this ministry, you're supporting the side of darkness. That's yeah. exactly what you're doing. And whether you think that money is going to a good ministry or not, there are some good ministries that he's supporting. But while you're tithing into his ministry, you're supporting the side of darkness. And I'm glad he said that because he says that there are some good ministries that Chris McDonald is supporting. And yeah, I want to, I want to say something about that. Okay. Um, yeah. Do not just completely turn your back on any ministry that Chris McDonald might have supported. Okay. These ministries uh, didn't know what, what they were getting themselves into, obviously. Um, so, just stop listening to Chris McDonald, okay? Um, but find yourself a good church where they don't bring in people like that. Watch what these preachers are saying. You know, use discernment. That is our biggest problem today. We don't use discernment. Um we just blindly follow these ministers because the majority of us, myself included, a few years back, I'm getting better, were biblically illiterate. And we just simply believed everything they said and ignored the things they do. And we need to smarten up. Okay? Look at me. You got to go home. Smarten up. All right? Th that is so true because you know you you might be going to this church that you think that you know is doing an excellent job. Well, they're they're feeding the poor, or they're you know they're they're doing this ministry. They're going on mission trips and other things like that. And you know they don't care what the pastor's saying, but the money's going in there. But they don't realize that they're using that money for their gain. And who knows yeah. what the portion of that money is going towards these ministries. Yeah. And and that's that's the betrayal part. That is where I felt betrayed. Because I have supported this ministry. Not only as a listener, but a financial supporter. And he got me back into the Word of God. I got motivated through his ministry to get back to Jesus. To have that relationship with God. I'm praying more, I'm reading the Bible more, I'm, I'm still young in the faith, but I could, I'm growing, and, and I'm growing strength, I'm growing wisdom, I'm growing knowledge through the Word of God. He got okay. me motivated to get back in the Word. And when I found all this stuff out, what was really going on, I felt betrayed. And now it's like I'm taking all of my fear all of my trust and all my faith is no longer in man. I'm putting it into the bank of heaven. I'm putting it into the bank of the Lord Jesus. And that's what we should all do. Do not put your faith in humanity. Do not put your faith in a man. If you want to put your faith in a man, put it in our Lord Jesus Christ. He was the only perfect man that ever walked this earth. Okay, He's the only man that will never ever let you down stick by jesus and stop following these false idols and that's where all my faith and all my fear and all my trust is going now it's not going into man anymore so yeah that is a there's a lot going on there um and that ministry is in deep deep trouble um I just want to thank uh, the two of them, Jamie Price Willis and Chad. I am not going to attempt your middle your last name again, um, and uh, for your your bravery and the bravery of uh, 
all the women that have been, um, you know, accosted by this man, um, that, uh, they can heal, uh, cause they definitely need to heal. Um, there's nothing worse than a, a, a clergy, uh, a man of the cloth like that taking advantage of his position. And that seems to be what's, uh, they're telling us is going on here in more ways than one. Um, and uh, it's, I have a list, it's quite a list here. But the biggest thing is the, how immoral all of this seems to be. Um, so um, I do, I pray for all of you uh, that you heal. Um, and, uh, and the other ladies that he has, uh, he has damaged. Um, now, uh, Chad said that there's over 100 people that he's affected. Um, in what manner, I have no idea. I would love to have, <clears throat> excuse me, chad on my uh live stream some night so i could interview him uh i would if, please chat if you if you have a chance reach out to me uh maybe we can make this happen um but uh yeah there's a lot of stuff here going on that uh needs to be flushed out and um but most of all i hope that chris mcdonald uh, i hope this is a wake-up call for him and he seems and he gets the Error. He's seen the error of his ways. I couldn't spit that out. And uh, he repents. Um, that's one thing that the um, these charismatic preachers don't ever really push. Um, they don't push repentance a lot. Um, maybe because they got a lot to repent for, you know. Um, what I will say about Chris McDonald and uh, Chad did say that he brought him to God. Um, got him back into the mystery because I have, I, I, I did watch Chris McDonald and Chris McDonald will read scripture. So even, uh, you know, someone who's got, uh, uh, a dark side like Chris McDonald, even when the true scripture comes out of his mouth, it's still the word of God, but don't follow someone like that. Okay. If you want to hear the word of God, open your Bible and read it. And there it is. You don't need a Chris McDonald to do that for you. All right. I'm very happy uh, that Chad, uh, after his struggles earlier in his life, got back into Christianity and got back on the road. And Chad, God bless you. And I, and I wish you the best. Okay. You keep on doing what you're doing. And, uh, you know, go through that narrow gate onto that narrow road of salvation. Both of you, Jamie and uh, Chad, uh, you got a brother in Christ here. Okay. Do you ever need anything at all? I am uh, just an email away or, or, or a comment in my chat section away. Okay. And I'd love to, I'd love to hear from the both of you. Okay. All right. So um, I want to, I'm going to end this live stream. I'm, excuse me, live stream. Um, heretic hump day tonight <laughs> so let us bow our heads in prayer oh merciful heavenly father bless these two brave souls jamie price willis and chad may they be led in the future by you and true men of god and may chris mcdonald repent for his sins and with that lord i pray in the name of the father and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Okay, dokie, folks. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, and I just got a word in here from my email that uh, the man who was just in that video, Chad, will be joining me for a live stream uh, interview himself with me. Um, we're looking to shoot for this Saturday. So, yeah, be there, be square, folks. Uh, I'm going to be interviewing Chad. Th thank you, Chad. I appreciate that. And thank you, Jamie. God bless you both. Okay, we will see you then. Bye-bye. <laughs>
Dance, 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 dance,